Good morning everyone, this is Naomi here. Today we are at Parnell Market and today we'll be learning how to multiply two digit numbers and hope you enjoy it and cheers. Okay, let's go. So we are going to first multiply 23 by 12. So we are going to do two methods. The first method is called the algorithm method and the second method is the grid method. The grid method is useful when you are doing algebra in the future. So we shall do the algorithm method first followed by the grid method. In the algorithm method, you are going to put the numbers 23 times 12 as though you add them up in order. So what the, the first thing you do, you are going to multiply by 2 first. So 3 multiplied by 2 will give you 6, so you are going to write 6 here. Got it so far? Good. The next number you're going to multiply by 3 is going to be 2. So you're going to multiply this way now. 2 times 2 is going to be 4. So you're going to write 4 here. That's simple, isn't it? Yes. So now the next thing you're going to do, you're going to multiply the second number at the bottom. is going to be 1. So what you're going to do, you're going to multiply 3 by 1. We give you 3. Instead of writing here, you write directly below the 1. So 3 times 1 is 3. So you're going to write a 3 there. Because there's nothing there, you put a 0. And the last thing, you're going to be 2 times 1. There's only one space. You're going to be 2 here. Then what you're going to do, you're going to draw a line. And you're going to add the number. So what you're going to do, you're going to add them up. 6 plus 0, the answer is going to be 6. And then 4 plus 3 is going to be 7. And 2, 0 plus 2 is going to be 2. And the answer is 200 and 76. Great. Now we're going to do the grid method. The grid method is 23 times 12. So you're going to break up 23 to 20 and 3 and 12 will be 10 and 2. So 10 plus 2 is 12. 20 plus 3 is 23. So what you're going to do, you're going to multiply them in the box here. You're going to multiply. So 20 times 10, if you do not know, is going to be 200. 3 times 10 is going to be 30. 20 times 2 is going to be 40 and then 3 times 2 is going to be 6. So what you're going to do, you are going to add everything in here, in the box here. So if you do not know, you can add, do slowly. So 200 plus 40 is 240. 30 plus 6 is 36. If you add these two numbers and the answer is going to be 276. So you can do either the algorithm method or the grid method. Okay, we shall do a couple more examples and you should be familiar with this as soon as we get over. Okay, the next number is a bit harder. It's going to be 56 multiplied by 38. So again, the first number you're going to multiply is 8. So 6 times 8 is 48. So you write 8 and carry up 4. Instead of putting the 4 here, you multiply add the 4 there. So the next step, you're going to multiply 5 times 8. 5 times 8 is 40, and then there's a 4 there, so 40 plus 4 is going to be 44, so you're going to write as 44. So far so good? Great. Now we're going to do multiplication of 3. So we're going to multiply the other way now. 6 times 3 is 18, so you're going to be 8. Carry up 1, because there's nothing there, you put a 0 again. So 6 times 3 is 18, so 8 carry up 1. Now you take 5 times 3 is 15. You don't forget the 1, so 15 plus 1 is 16. So you write a 6 and 1. Then what's the next step? The next step, of course, you're going to add the two numbers together. And then 8 plus 0 is going to be 8. 4 plus 8 is 12. 2 carry up 1. 4 plus 6 is 10. That's a 1. So 11, 1 carry up 1. So 1 and 1 is 2. So the answer is 2, 1, 2, 8. Am I going too fast? Okay, we'll slow down now. Okay, now the grid method, Sim similar. Fifth, you multiply them again. 50 times 6 is 56. 30 plus 8 is 38. So you put in a grid like that. So now you're going to multiply them together. 50 times 30 is going to be 1,500. 6 times 30 is 180. 50 times 8 is 400. And 6 times 8 is 48. What's the next step? You're going to add everything inside the box. If you cannot add them up in your head, just do step by step. 1,005 times 400 is 1,009. And then 180 plus 48 is going to be 228. If you add these two numbers together, you will get this number. 2, 1, 2, 8. So, is that 
clear gentlemen so we are now going to do the hardest of the lot which is the biggest number of them lot so the last example is going to be 95 by 78 so what do you do again you are first going to multiply by 8 so you're going to multiply 5 by 8 which is 40 zero and you put 4 to the next number so now you're going to do you're going to multiply 7 uh, 9 times 8 which is 72 and don't forget your 4 72 plus 4 is going to be 76 great good now what you do you're going to multiply the 7 so 7 times 5 is going to be 35 so 5 and the remainder is 3 so you still have to put a 0 there because there's nothing there so Next number, you're going to multiply 9 times 7. 9 times 7 is 63, and there's a 3 there. 63 plus 3 is going to be 66, so you're going to put 6 and 6. And the last step, you're going to add them up. So you're going to be 0 plus 0 is going to be 0. 6 plus 5 is 11. Carry up 1. 6 times th plus 7 is 13, plus 1 is 14. Carry up 1. 1 plus 6 is going to be 7. And the answer is 7, 4, 1, 0. And again, we are doing the grid method. So 95 is made up of 90 plus 5, 78 is 70 plus 8, and we do the grid method. So we're going to multiply them. 90 times 70 is going to be 6,300. 5 times 70 is going to be 350. 90 times 8 is 720. And 5 times 8 is going to be 40. Then we're going to add the two numbers together. You add them up together, it's going to be 7,020. 7, and this number is going to be 390. So 6,003 plus 720 is 7,020. 350 plus 40 is 390. You're going to add a number. And if you add them together, you should get 7,410. So these are the two methods you're going to learn how to multiply two-digit number. So if you are given an exam, you can either do the algorithm or the grid method. See which one favors you. If you like the grid method, do the grid method. If you like, the, you have learned the algorithm in intermediate, do the algorithm method. Enjoy yourself and keep practicing. My advice is pick any two numbers, do it doing these two methods and check your answers using the calculator. If you are right, then you are calculating them well. So do at least 20 questions and you can do it. You'll be all good. Cheers.